What's going on guys, Chris Rodnick here, and today is the day that I've been waiting for for almost a week now. So, if you guys have been following the channel the past few days, you guys know I bought my dream wheels, which are Work Meister S1s. They are in the bed of the truck right now. You guys are going to be finding out what we are going to be putting them on today, but first we need to do a couple errands. We need to run in the shop. I need to get the fenders rolled professionally. I don't want I don't want to make any mistakes. I don't want to have I don't want my fenders pulled. I just want them clean. I want them perfect and I want them rolled right. So, first thing we need to do, go to the shop, grab the car. You guys probably already know what it is. Let's hit it. All right guys, so I just had to move our little workstation right here, but it's okay because I had to clean it up anyways before we start working again. But a lot of you have guessed it. Yes, the blueberry is getting slammed. And when I say this, I can't tell you how excited I am. I keep saying that. I'm going to keep saying it because I am beyond stoked. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get in this thing. We need to drive it to the paint shop real quick because while I'm gone, they are going to be rolling the fenders today. Let's do it. And the Roadster sees some daylight. She's going to be seeing a lot more daylight after today, I'll tell you that. This thing's a new daily for sure. All right, and we have to go approximately 10 feet, and here we are. Let's talk to Tommy real quick, or I should say America. We got Mr. America himself right now. What are you gonna be doing to this car today, man? America. You, that's it? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put on these oversized wheels so you can put your coilovers and drop it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, why not? <laughs> you know, it's, it's nothing, you know, we'll just, Cut the quarter panel up to here oh, and be able to no. fit it perfectly. I'm a little nervous now. Yeah, why? <laughs> well, this is what we do. Yeah, well, if you guys see this picture right here, this is Rob's R33. They pretty much did all the body work to that, so I trust you guys for my life. I got you. I'll I won't let you down. You can, you can probably fit 24s on here when we're done. <laughs> all right, I'll see you in six hours. See you in six. <laughs> I can convince my lovely girlfriend to come to Orlando with me. It was Starbucks. That's, that's it. That's all it took, and she's coming to Orlando. Six hour drive there and back. <laughs> Woo! Okay, so I just got done driving two and a half hours to Orlando. Some may ask why, and I'm about to fucking answer that. So, here we are, we're at BC Racing. It's actually a funny story, so I texted BC Racing yesterday. I was like, hey, I'm trying to do this one day build with my Roadster, and I need some coilovers to slam my car. And they're like, come on down, we'll hook you up. So here I am, we're getting some extreme lows for the Roadster, and I'm so excited. This video is sponsored by BC Racing, and I'm so excited to say that because they've been hooking me up with the Evo, with the Civic, and now the Roadster. So let's just go inside real quick, pick up these coilovers, and rush home because Tommy said he's currently rolling the fender, so by the time we get there, it's gonna be done. We can slam it, and we can go drive around and maybe scrape. Probably not scrape, because the Florida roads are great. All right, let's hit it. Okay, so we are now leaving BC Racing. Welcome to Florida. It always fucking rains out, but I am stoked. So they gave me new shirts. Ooh, is this a lanyard? I am a... Courtney, I got two. You want one? Yeah. We well, be... I'm... I like yours that I have. Okay. Well, I like this one, so I'm gonna use this one. Okay. But honestly, I'm stoked. These I'm not gonna really use, but everything else... Fucking pumped. Let's go home. So today's going pretty good. I just got a set of BC coilovers. I'm getting 17 miles of the gallon average, and I just found out that my girlfriend loves zombies. You didn't just find that out. Well, I found out that that's all she ever wants to do now, and now I'm very happy because me and Grillo used to be like this huge into zombies. I mean, if you guys watched my live streams back like a year ago, you know that we love zombies, but like, I don't even want to do the coilovers anymore. I just want to go home and play zombies and not come out of my room for three days. Does that sound good? Yes. Let's do it. Just kidding. Let's see you at the shop. We're driving home right now, and me and Courtney absolutely loves Teslas. Like, yesterday was the first time ever she saw a Tesla drive by herself, and she went bonkers, <laughs> all right? So I'm like, I'm asking her all these crazy things, like, would you do this, would you do that? And like, she, she keeps saying like, yes, yes, like I would no, as long as I'm getting a Tesla. Okay. I do, he would ask me, different scenarios of what I would do, what I would be willing to do for a Tesla to get one myself. And nine out of 10 questions, she said yes. The only one she didn't say yes to was drowning herself. So, <laughs> <laughs> I, guess I, I guess that came out bad, but I said she would live after it. But anyways, do you think this one's driving itself? I hope so. I don't no, think it his is. Hands was fucking on the What's wheel? the point of having a Tesla? I if fucking you're... hate that guy. Yeah, he sucks. When are we getting one? Tomorrow. Yeah, right. I, I looked it up yesterday. I'm pretty sure the cheapest driving Tesla is 35 grand, which honestly, for a driving car, is not that bad. Why don't we trade in your Civic? Let's fucking do it. I'm down. Let's put it down in the comments. 
What do you gotta do? So fucking bad. What do you gotta do? <laughs> I gotta be. <laughs> so I said I wasn't gonna use these, but thank God Courtney is. Hell yeah. I love koozies. Do you? I found out in Colorado with the Boosted Boys that I love koozies. You love koozies. They, they taught you well, huh? Yeah. Hey? They taught you well, eh? She hates when I do that. Because you're, cause you're a poser. I'm a poser, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm fucking with her. <laughs> Dang, look how cute that dog is. Wow. <laughs> Alright, Courtney, so I'm gonna say something I want. The first thing that comes to your head when I say this, okay? Ready? Okay. What do we want? Zombies! When do we want them? Fucking right now! <laughs> <laughs> I just pulled out the camera randomly and I wanted to ask her that. I was really hoping she was gonna say zombies, and you did it. We're gonna crash. Oh my god. Hey, did you say you had to use the bathroom? We just passed the bathroom. <laughs> You're fine though, right? No. Oh, oh well. Zombies. Zombies. Well, considering Courtney had to pee so bad, figured I'd get some diesel while we stopped. Look at Florida, man. This is literally what we have to deal with in the summer. I guess I'm a real Floridian now. I guess I'm not a Floridian until I see a hurricane. And the only thing I want to do during a hurricane is rent a jet ski, buy a jet ski, do whatever, and jet ski on the roads. So let me know if that's like an actual thing here in Florida like that you Floridians do, because I would love to do that. Come on, baby, fill her up. I really hope she steps in this puddle. That would make my whole life. Step. Step. Damn it. How's your bladder, my beautiful? Feel what? How, feel how wet my socks are. Ew! They're soaked! <laughs> I fucking stepped in the first puddle. Was that worth your um, piss? Napkins. Was that worth your piss? Yeah, because... I like your shirt. Clean culture. Shout out, Nick. Real fucking car girl over here using a fucking microfiber to clean her sock. You know I use those to clean the inside of my truck. This one was dirty. No, it wasn't. Chris, look at it. You think that's from my sock? You, it doesn't matter though, it was still fine. Now it's you got your- You use it to clean, it's dirty. Whatever, okay. Okay, so we just got to the shop, going into the paint shop right now. Hopefully the fenders are rolled because I don't know what I'm more excited about, to slam the roadster or to play zombies tonight. Let's go find out. So they finished the rear right here. I, let's see if you can see this. It is literally so flat and there's no pull whatsoever. There's no like ripples or anything like that. It's just perfectly straight, exactly how I wanted it. You guys didn't do the front yet and that is why? We didn't do the front, do two. There's fender liner in here still. There's still a fender liner. The brackets on the inside have to be adjusted. Until I know exactly where the wheel needs to be, it's not worth cutting because then you can't use your fender liner and then you've got a haggard <laughs> Some kind of interior, who knows what mud truck. So you're trying to make it not haggard. Well, we want to make it right. Yeah, no, for you sure. Know, I could, yeah. I could always do uh, a 16 year old invention, but <laughs> but you know, I could always move a bracket. So I'd rather know exactly where the new coilover is going to sit, how it's going to sit before we alter anything. So good thing is this thing's on jack stands already. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to take the only coilovers out right now because these coilovers don't go low enough. This is actually max low for this setup, and it's still monster truck. So we're going to go over. We're gonna grab the BC coilovers and start. Okay, so Courtney wanted to learn today, so Courtney's gonna learn. So you know what this is, Courtney? That, that's a quarter inch electric ratchet, all right? You got a 12 mil on here? You're gonna bring that Wait, 12 mil. I thought you were gonna do one side and I was gonna do the other. Well, I mean, you can just do this for now. Take these four bolt nuts out. This one, that one, and over there. Three, two, one, go! All the way, you got this. All right, you're good. Now that comes off, do that one. <laughs> All right, good. All right, now do the other side. Look, you're already learning. I like that. Hey, what's, it, what's this called again? A uh, ratchet drill. Uh, electric ratchet quarter inch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm scared. Careful, hit it. Yeah, it sounds like it. All right, last one. It's right there. No! Oh! Yeah, no, you're, I was just kidding. You're it's fine. It's not funny. I laughed. Oh, it's fine. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. 
All right, perfect. Take that off, pop it off, boom. We're gonna set those right there. Okay, so when I say go, all you have to do is hit that button. All right, go. Is it off? Good, is the nut off? Where'd it go? What? It's oh, it's there. in there, perfect. Okay. How do you get this out of here? Drop it. No, not the whole gun, just. This is how I do it. It's kind of a game. Sooner or later, it'll, it'll oh. pop out. See? <laughs> okay, so we've kind of been just banging out these coilovers because I really want to put these BCs in and I really want to slam it right now. You ready, girly? Yep. Last bolt, here we go. This bolt right here. Yeah, there you go. Make sure it's on it. Straight, now go. I don't have to do... It's gonna be tor towards the other way, not towards you. Go, hard. You got this. Wait, so I'm doing the same thing I yes. did on the other side? Yep. Hello. Come on, believe in yourself. I'm believe. Let me sit. <laughs> Try to hit the button. Well, no, it's not strong enough. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now hit you the button. It so easy. Well, it was. All right, this should just be able to pull out now. And now we just get someone to stand, and then, hey Tom, you wanna do the honors? Alex, you got him. No, Alex is not, <laughs> Alex doesn't want anything. Yeah, you need the fat guy like me. <laughs> I'm going on Jenny Craig, so you won't be able to use me next time. <laughs> All right, Ready? hit it. A Little more, a little more. Yeah, perfect. All right, so now all the Olins are out. Let's open the BC box. Okay, so we're trying to waste no time here, so boom. Authenticity. Coilovers, all right, so I don't want to waste any time. So this is a rear coilover right here, right? We need to see what the difference is. All right, so the extreme low stock go lower, are lower than the um, Olin's max out, which is pretty crazy if you think about it, so. All right, guys, so this is what we're working with right now. We got the Olin's, we got the BC's. As we just explained, the BCs are the ultra lows already come lower than the Olin's maxed out completely. I know there's still some gap here, but it's actually maxed out at the bottom of the collar right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lower all of the BC coilovers right now two inches. I'm gonna do a whole two inch drop all around. See where we're at. I mean, if we have to go lower, we have to go lower. I mean, that, that's all I gotta say about that. But I will promise you that this car is going to be low with these Meisters. So two inch drop right now. Let's install these suckers. You ready? Oh, I'm fucking ready, mate. All right, guys, so my coilovers is on. This is how my car is sitting. It's looking pretty fresh, honestly. Um, yeah, I don't know how to use jack sand, so this is really what's going on right now. Honestly, it looks pretty cool. This is like a rock crawler. <laughs> All right, so this is it, the moment of truth. Is she too low? Go, come on, you're fine. That was too fast. Is All right. She, she's too low. She's turning. Oh, he's... Chris, stand it back up. No, he, you did say that. All right, guys, so we got it on the ground, and after I put it on the ground, I was like, you know what, this isn't low enough, so I actually ended up lifting it back up, maxing out the coilovers in the rear completely, and then just evening it out the front. Not gonna lie, it looks great. Not talking shit, but it definitely needs to go a little lower. I'm thinking we're gonna get some drop knuckles for this thing, or just um, extended top hats. Alex was telling me that it's that's what he used to run on his Miata, but don't get me wrong, these work wheels on this car look absolutely fresh, but we need, I don't know, I'm thinking at least another inch. Like, inch, maybe inch and a half, and I think I'll be exactly where I want it. But sadly, most of the day I was really driving, so I didn't really get much time to work on this. I kind of just threw in the coilovers and called it a night. But I'm gonna drive this thing home. Um, I've been driving around the complex and everything. It does not rub like whatsoever unless I'm really raging through a corner. The, the front fenders aren't rolled at all. The only thing that we had to do was there was a little tab right here. Instead of just ripping your fender liner out, all you really have to do is just like bend this screw. It's literally a screw right here. Just bend it up and then you won't have any more rub issues. So that's really all Tommy did to actually make it not rub at all and it doesn't rub. But we are gonna go a lot lower in the front, a lot lower in the rear, and we're gonna have to do something in the front. Obviously we're gonna roll it. I'm gonna try to keep the fender liner in, 
We're probably gonna make a bracket to hold it up higher, but I don't really know yet. But Courtney, what do you think of it, girl? I like it. Ah, is it is it low enough for you? Yeah. It's not low enough. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I have a couple more mods that I want to do tomorrow. And I mean, this is the daily. It needs a car wash tomorrow. I need to clean the wheels, but this thing looks absolutely fresh. Give me your input down in the comments. It feels good. This is the Rice Miata V3, V4. Fucking love this thing. Peace.